If you never have that adrenaline spike, you need to do something. Go out there and do it safely, but push the envelope a little bit. That's exactly what was happening to Jimbo. He had adrenaline coursing through his system. A lot of health benefits because everyone knows that feeling when you're on an exciting ride, doing something out of the ordinary. That fight or flight response kicks in in your brain. What it does is it signals your adrenal glands, which sit right on top of your kidneys, to release adrenaline. In medical parlance, it's called norepinephrine. That's what causes that sensation, the fast heart rate. Your blood pressure goes up, but it also does something else. Afterwards, once the fight or flight phenomena has settled down, the pituitary gland releases these feel-good hormones. And that's why you're so at peace after you push the limits. Even if it's just giving a speech and you're afraid to give a speech mm -hmm. and you get that fight or flight adrenaline response, Afterwards, you always feel so much better. And for you, it was oh, yeah. hitting was, terra uh, firma and be like, I live. Yeah, I know. That was big. And you know, that was a pretty extreme example of an adrenaline rush. But you know, sometimes you can use it's kind of smaller ones throughout the day. Actually, in my office, there's a, actually a go-kart track pretty close. So it's sometimes if I'm really tired, at lunchtime, I'll just run over there for half an hour and take a couple of laps. And